Good morning. I'm your philosophy teacher, Nick Macaluso, and today I want to talk to you about the three paradigms of ethics. These three paradigms, or ways of thinking about the right and wrong, are virtue ethics, which goes back to Aristotle, duty ethics, the most prominent example of which is Immanuel Kant, this is also known as deontology, and consequentialist ethics, as most famously espoused by John Stuart Mill. The first of these I want to talk to you about is virtue ethics. Just the camera a bit. So, virtue ethics. What must we do? We should do things to benefit self and community. Virtuous action benefits people. It benefits ourselves. It benefits our community. And how should we do these good things? We should do the good things the way the good person does them. So what we need to do is find an example of a virtuous person we want to emulate and follow that example. Follow the example of the best and do things the way that person does them. By practicing doing these good deeds the way the good person does them over and over again, they become habits. It becomes easier to do them, we get better at them, and it becomes tougher not to do them because they are habits. Habits are patterns of action. Now, when we develop these good habits, when we do good things habitually, then we ourselves become the virtuous person. That's what virtue ethics is. How do you know what to do? You should do things the way the good person does them, in the way the good person does them. Do them the same way, and you become the good person. And that's virtue ethics. Move the camera just a bit here. Now, what are the advantages of virtue ethics? Well, the first and most important is the insight that human nature really is changeable. It's plastic. You become what you do habitually. So that, that's a very important insight. Another advantage of virtue ethics is that when you are the virtuous person, you don't have to rely on others to know what to do. You are the expert. You take the initiative when it comes to doing good action because you have made yourself into the virtuous person. What are some of the disadvantages of virtue ethics? Well, here they are. As philosopher Immanuel Kant pointed out, there are no perfect people, so it can be very, very difficult to find a good example of how to do things. Another problem is, do things the way the virtuous person does them? It's kind of vague. It, uh, you know, it's, um, it, it doesn't tell us what exactly we need to do in all situations. And another difficulty with virtue ethics is that there are situations where different people we consider virtuous might do different things. So if we want to emulate them, what are we going to do? That's the disadvantage. That's the first of your three paradigms of ethics. Thank you.